X-Men. What's up guys, qha 3 Austin here, and welcome to my 13th Let's Play, X-Men Arcade. This is the port for Xbox 360 of the 1992 arcade game. Um, we're only going to be playing with one player. Um, the There's the ability online to play with six players, and I think even the original uh, arcade cabinet had the ability to play with six players. That's crazy. Uh, we are going to be going on normal difficulty, and I think um, you do have the ability to choose between either the Japanese or USA version. Since I live in America, of course, I'm going to go with the uh, USA version. Uh, so, there's six characters to play as. There's Colossus, Wolverine, Storm, Nightcrawler, Dazzler, and Cyclops. Uh, I'm going to be going through as Wolverine. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll start this up. In the 21st century, evil mutants led by Magneto aim to destroy the world. Humans could do nothing against the power of the evil mutant. The only hope is X-Men. Go and save the city. Okay, um, if you would excuse me really quick, I am gonna... Make the screen size bigger so you guys can see it better. It might look a little stretched, but at least, you know, you can see it bigger. So, um... Yeah, the voice acting there by, uh, Professor X at the beginning. I could have done better than that. Go and save the city. Of course, it's a, an arcade game. They're not really looking for, like, the best voice actors ever, but they could have done better than they did. So, the storyline is basically, uh, Magneto, who is it? He's, like, he lives on another planet in this. It's not like the movies at all. And he's way younger than Ian McKellen. I mean, come on. Anyway, so, he has, uh, come to Earth with his henchmen, and they are invading the city so obviously we got to go and save it so what you saw me do a couple seconds ago uh you get these like power attacks by lives it's like this uh wave beam that uh wolverine sends out and he can uh you know wipe out everybody that comes in contact with it. it's like a one hit kill the thing is he can only do it a few times per life and that's another thing. The live system in this game is... Well, you you can die, but you have unlimited continues. So at the points where in the arcade you would have had to put in another coin to continue, you could just hit the A button and you'll continue right from there. So right now I was trying to use my uh, wave beam attack and I was out of them. But since I just died there, now I have a fresh set of them. So it, it really isn't that hard to get through this, but just there, there's certain enemies that will be hard as we go along. Just use the wave beam. And the, the thing is with the uh, guys that are harder as we go on in the game, because you really can continue as many times as you want, and the the damage that you get on them from one life from one life carries to the next life that you get. So like you don't have to like start over the fight. So it really isn't that hard. I'm I'm aiming to make this let's play either two or three parts. I'm thinking two right now. So I'm assuming the city is probably New York. I'm not sure. I think the X-Men takes place in New York. Mostly, at least. And I just died there because I was trying to use my wave beam attack. 
Alright, let's get these other guys. Oh, crap. There's really no way to dodge that, I guess, unless maybe you jump. But I wasn't thinking at the time. So Wolverine is probably my favorite character of the X-Men. Let's take care of Pyro. Oh crap. Just use Wave Beam. I don't know what it's actually called, I'm just calling it Wave Beam. Got him already. I know it's hard to read what that says. I think it's something about a, a like a bonus or something like that. I'm actually not sure. But anyway, so level two. There's eight levels in the game. I don't know if you can hear it, but I could just faintly hear it. Somebody in the background is like just faintly like they're trying to say X-Men. But they're like glitching, and there's like X Men, X Men. I doubt you can hear. Oh, I had to continue. I doubt you could hear that, but I could just faint hear it faintly. Oh, so as I was saying before, we uh, ran into Pyro. Uh, Wolverine is my favorite character of the X Men. The he in the comics, which is what this is based off of. He's actually pretty short. I think he's like five foot three, if I'm correct. They didn't get that in the movies. They did not pick up on that when they cast Hugh Jackman. And it, the costume he's wearing right now. Where is that ever in the movies? Where is this costume ever? Also, watch out for the... Uh, blue fire here. That is definitely gonna hurt you. So I believe we're in like a one of Magneto's bases, I guess. I only did one test playthrough for this game. Other than that, I really haven't played this game in like over a year. I think the only reason I had played it beforehand was for achievements. Which I still don't have all of them. Like, one of them wants you to beat the game in, like, 25 minutes or less. I don't see how that's possible. You, I mean, number one, you'd probably need, like, a bunch of friends with you. Number two, you'd have to speed run the whole way through. You cannot stop for anything. I do not know why I keep hearing this, uh, X-Men, X-Men. It's like the sound audio is glitching, the recording is glitching. That was a dumb move. These, uh, metal droid things, I don't really see how you can beat them with just your Wolverine Claws. I think you need the Wave Beam. I don't know what you're supposed to do there. I think you just have to die. I think you just have to take it. So, that's pretty much the game. I mean, you're doing this like the whole way through. There's plot at some points, but not a whole lot. Oh, God. Yep, fire killed me, I figured. Alright, here's a whole army of them. If you can line them up in just the right way... Oh my God, stop bitch slapping me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had times, like, even in my test playthrough where they would just bitch slap you. Nothing moves the blob! Alright, so here we have our second boss, the Blob. Uh, he has like a wrecking ball thing. Or like, not a wrecking, not a wrecking ball, what am I thinking? Like a ball and chain thing. Uh, when he's down, 
he's down for a bit, so you can go up and get some hits on him. But then get out of the way immediately because he's going to kill you. Like, since I'm all out of wave beam now, I think I have to let him kill me so I get more. If I try to go in on him just for, like, my claws to kill him, he's going to hit me. He's going to hit me. See? Bitch slapped. Alright, hit him, hit him. Nothing moves. Well, apparently that moved the blob. X-Men, X-Men. We have been taken by Magneto. However, we had time to locate their base on Island M. Destroy it. Alright, so, uh, Professor X has been taking, taken captive by Magneto, but somehow he managed to locate an island that he was using as a base, Island M, so that's where we are now. We're fighting dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! That look like they're wearing some kind of clothing. Ah. You know, I read that, uh, as far as the continues go, a lot of people were displeased with them making uncontinues continues in this. But it's not arcade. Number one, it's not arcade. Like, you're not in the arcade cabinet. You don't need coins. And number two, the audience of gaming has kind of changed, like, ever since the 90s. It, it, like, gaming is a lot more casual. Days. Like, they, there's a lot of room for error and for noobs. And unfortunately, to my knowledge, there's nothing I could do to make it so that, like, I could, that I could potentially lose in the game. There's no way to, like, make it so you do actually have a limited amount of lives. You have to deal with an unlimited number. And now they're, now they're throwing out, uh, flowers at you. Like, come on. Flowers as enemies. I do like the music in this game. If I can find some of the, uh, tracks for this game, I'm definitely gonna, uh, put them on my phone. I'll look around the internet, see what I can find. So I do like the music in this game a lot. So in the background, there's a skull where they came out of, um, yeah. At this point, there's not a lot to say. Really, the, really the whole game is just going around each screen fighting bad guys, and at the end of each stage, there's a boss fight. That's really the whole game. And there's a little bit of plot, like, intertwined throughout the way. I mean, it was an arcade game. I mean, they they designed it in a way that you you would just kind of probably you probably wouldn't beat the game. You probably just like maybe beat two or three levels, and then you'd just be going on to the next arcade cabinet, the next machine. I mean, yeah, you probably had to be like one of the best gamers ever back then to beat this, and you had to be pretty uh, rich. It's so like, let's say I had to pay a quarter. Fuck you, Magneto. So, as I was saying, like, if every time I had to hit the continue button, which is A, you needed a quarter, I mean, I'd, I'd probably spend... How much money would I spend on this game? Probably about $20. You know, I feel bad about this. I actually don't know this guy's uh, name that we're fighting now. I will look it up and put it in text like I usually do for my Let's Plays. Yeah, don't get near this guy. And also, I think you probably picked up on this by now, but uh, you know uh, an enemy's health when he uh, starts glowing like that. And the more rapidly he glows, 
that's uh that means he's taking more damage. And he is done, whatever his name is. I will put it in text, I promise. Go and rescue Kitty from the cave. Kitty Pride, aka Shadow Cat. We have to save her from this cave. So that's uh this level. I'm gonna finish this level and then I'll end the part there. I think we'll beat the game in the next part. I I don't really see us going to a third part of this game. I really don't. Come on. There we go. So I don't know what these, like, orange blob things are. Not that they have anything to do with the blob boss fight itself, but... Oh, come on. The, the trolley thing? That's what killed me? The trolley? Or whatever it is? The cart? Oh, cha-cha! You know, the guy, this guy right here, his, uh, armor color makes him look like Iron Man. Oh, crap. I'm out of wave beam. So this guy will send out his, uh, he basically has a bunch of babies. And you gotta, you gotta kill the mother or the father or whatever the hermaphrodite thing it is. And you gotta... Good, I have more wave beam now. I died. Good. Come on. Of course I died. You are going to die a lot in this game. It's just natural. Come on. Let's see if I can line them up. Line them up. Come on. Stop fish slapping me. Line them. God. Alright. Got them all. You want to line them up in the wave beam so that it'll take out every single one of them. I only got two of them. I didn't know dinosaurs breathe fire. I mean, that's new to me. That ah, just kill me so I can get more wave energy beam thing. There we go, got all of them. Don't get hit with these rocks. I say as I get hit with the rocks. Come on, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Good, I got them all. Or I debated them all. Now we fight this guy again. I don't know his name. I will look him up after this video. done. Good. You got him. And we rescued Kitty. You must rescue the professor. Okay, so, um, in next part, part two, we will go and rescue Professor X from Magneto, so 
Thanks for watching part one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in part two, which will probably be the finale. I, very, very slim chance of us going to a third part. But we'll see what happens next time. So until part two, peace out.